Hey, how's it going, everybody? It is Monday. It's the afternoon right now. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the video today. Um, we've got some stuff to talk about. Well, I've got some stuff to talk about. Um, just in the middle of doing some uh, doing some cleaning uh, in the kitchen area. We have a monthly uh, fire inspection. They check the smoke detectors and the thing. There's like a smoke thing at the front door to make sure everything is uh, secure. So in case there was ever a fire, it's uh, it's good to check it. So we have them coming. Uh, someone from the fireplace tomorrow. So we are just just tidying up the kitchen, trying to get that as uh, spotless. We the, ourselves and well, Kathy and I and the girls managed to do a lot of work in the in the living room last night. Um, I had my uh, third appointment today at the, the foot doctor, croptologist, and um, yeah, apparently there was some uh, little bits of nails, um, like, if I look at my thumb, right at the end, right, like, sorry, the, I can't really point it with my finger, but right at the end here, like, say this is my big toe, right at the very tip, like, where the, the nail meets the, the point here, where it starts, so there was some fragments of nail that were causing some infection and causing pain. And uh, yeah, it took uh, two doctors, the doctor who was looking at me and, and then one of her colleagues, uh, to get little pieces of nail out. And I swear, the size of these nail bits were a little bit like the size of a sliver, of, like a wood sliver you get in your hand. And uh, the pain, the blood, it was kind of gross. Like, um, I know I can't really compare it to anything really, but it was, it was really sore um, the last like the last few days. I'm doing soaking it in, uh, in salt water, um, but yeah, point one went good. Um, I've got it wrapped up right now again until tomorrow. Um, I think what's going to happen is I think down the line. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but. It might look like I might have to get the either the nail partially taken off from the middle down, or get the the entire nail taken off all like completely. I'm not 100% sure, but I've been dealing with ingrown toenails my whole entire life, and it's not fun. It's not fun at all to have pus and blood and infection coming from your feet, and I've it's genetic. My mom and dad both had it, so. But uh, yeah, it's taken care of right now. It's, it's, it's not, I'm not hurting right now. I'm, I could walk today, it's kind of nice. She pushed on the, the bit that was hurting originally and there's nothing there anymore. It doesn't hurt at all. Um, but I got, uh, I've got to give a huge shout out and congratulations. Um, one of my friends and follow, fellow YouTuber subscribers, uh, he hit a he hit a huge milestone recently. Um, uh, he hit four thousand watch time, uh, and he's now monetized. So Scott at Corkboard TV, uh, I, I congratulate you, man. That's amazing. Um, it's I think you originally said you had it, you had monetized before, but because of the changes that YouTube made you lost your monetization. I think that's what you said. I think it was either you or, uh, um, or Sean, Sean Rocket Boxes might have said that. I can't remember. I think you guys used to have it, but I'm not sure. But yeah, I saw your, re your replay of your live stream and congratulations. And uh, this is a cheers to you, my friend. Uh, this is a 12 year old single scotch, single malt scotch whiskey shot. I'm doing for you. Congratulations. Uh, I wish you all the best at uh, now having to monetize your channel and get in that money. So cheers, my friend. Congratulations. Another thing, too, uh, I got to talk about. I'm not really sure about what's going on. I don't really know the whole situation. But it's funny because I've got a fish behind me it involves water and water creatures and uh, that's the that's what's going on uh, in the east coast right now Canada in Nova Scotia uh, the natives and the non-natives are right now I've seen some stuff in the news I've seen stuff on social media 
and it's not fair. It's not right. Uh, I wish the the ones that are causing all the damage uh, and causing the controversies and all that would just stop. The treaties are there. The the native people are doing what the treaty says. They're allowed to do what the treaty says. And I don't know the whole situation. I know there's other videos out on YouTube about it, but uh, I don't like it. It's not nice. And seeing one of the, the houses, I think it was one of the, the holding cells or something got burned and uh, I believe it's arson and the RCMP weren't really doing much. They were just watching and not charging anyone. Uh, one of the chiefs, got attacked and lucky enough he was okay. He didn't look like he got any serious injuries, but crazy, crazy. And it's, a lot of people say there's uh, uh, there's no, not a lot of pro problems in the country and they're seeing it right now in, in Nova Scotia and it's sad. And I, I'm supporting the natives. I think it's, this is, they've had to go through so much in their history and you know, we, the French and the the English came in and took their took all their land and basically was like I put them in like the the kids in the the schools and it's just it's not right and now this is going on it's just it's not right at all so I won't get into more because I don't really know I haven't really been following it a lot I just see the post on uh, on YouTube and Facebook and t Twitter and TikTok and stuff so. Just my support goes with the native people, so. Um, yeah, but the weekend was uh, was pretty good. We had a pretty good weekend. Um, the girls have both been uh, happy at school. Um, I know the last time, I, I think we talked last week, uh, the bo they both lost a tooth at the same time. Uh, so they both got money from the tooth fairy. They both did really good. Uh, Abigail lost a molar, and then Emily lost one of, one of these ones. So that was good. They were happy. They got money. And they made money this weekend. Uh, this weekend we were watching uh, a friend of ours uh, who went to her cottage, and they asked us to watch their cat, and he's the sweetest cat ever. His name's Garfield, and super super sucky big cuddle buddy he even kissed me on the cheek this morning which was really cute um and yeah we we had a lot of fun watching him the girls enjoyed playing with him and but yeah that's I'm feeling that uh that shot right now that's it's, it was really good um i don't i haven't touched it a lot like i've only had a couple i'm trying to make this one last because it's 12 years old and you know I'm not gonna drink it like a bottle of uh, Jack Daniels or Crown Oil I'm, you know it's, a, it's a once in a while it's a celebratory drink so and uh, we were gonna go out this weekend too um, to see some of the the last bits of the the fall colors and see the the salmon running but the weather also too it was, it's been raining uh, a lot here and the cold the temperature just been dropped uh, it was down to minus one degree Celsius, uh, I believe yesterday or the day before. So it's been a bit on the chilly side. Um, right now it's actually not that bad. I think it's about like, let me check here, see here. Let me pull this down. Let me see if it will let me. Come on. Uh, all the way down. Let me check. I'm not sure. Well, it's single digits for sure. So, um, but yeah, that's what's been uh, been going on. Um, I did have. Uh, I got a. I had a head. Um, a bit of a head cold. Kathy and I did, and we didn't really want to do a lot. Um, I had to cancel, I had appointments scheduled for last week, but I had to rebook them because I wasn't able to go. So I'm going to be going to an appointment on Wednesday and then another appointment on Friday. Yeah, Wednesday and Friday. So 
Um, and then next week, I think I have, yeah, I have two next week. I have another appointment with uh, the, the corruptologist. And then I also meet with my, uh, my surgeon who's going to be doing my carpal tunnel release. So things are moving. Um, I just wasn't able to make those appointments last week because I was under the, I wasn't feeling good at all. And there was, I didn't want to risk going in there and coughing and sneezing and everyone thinking I had COVID. It was just, it was just a head cold. Um, it seems to be gone away now. Um, I still have a cough here and there. Uh, when, but other than that, it's been uh, pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on. Uh, doing homework for the kids as well. Uh, Emily has homework on weekends. She gets home like a, she gets a, a school book thing that she has to uh, fill out and then we do homework with her. Um, we got the new, uh, new tablets. So if we ever go on a, like a car drive, like a ride somewhere or go on a trip, uh, they each have their own little tablet thing. It's like an Amazon Fire. And they both love it. Now they both don't have to fight over iPads and stuff. And they play, they have it set up where they, Kathy has a timer timed. So it's only a few hours it's on. Um, and they have to keep the room clean, which is one of the rules. That's one of the rules Kathy and I set out. And they have to uh, pick up after themselves. Like if they make a mess, they have to pick that up and put, them, put it in the way, put it away in the garbage. And uh, so far, so good. Um, once the room starts getting a little bit better and clean, they'll, they'll get their, uh, their tablets back. But yeah, it's got like educational programs. They have to do three hours of educational stuff. After they do the three hours, they complete three hours of like learning exercises. They can watch uh, some kids program like Peppa Pig or Teen Titans or whatever the kids are watching nowadays. I'm not even sure, but. Other than that, that's what they've been up to, and uh, hopefully we'll be, uh, we have a Halloween party that we're doing here. We're not going out trick-or-treating this year. The girls know that. They just want to have a dance party and dress up, so that's what we'll do. We're just probably going to go to one of the stores and uh, pick up some candy, so they have something just here. But, but yeah, you guys, that is, uh, that's all that's all, that's all going on. Um, I had a oh I also had a good conversation with my my cousin um, over the weekend as well and he's in our uh, our social circle. Kathy and I don't go to anyone. We don't really have a lot of people in our social circle, so we have kept it really low and small. And uh, he's in my social circle with my aunt as well. So we're hoping to go down to Guelph before it gets snowy and. Uh, hang out with them and see them and it'll be really good we haven't seen them since uh since the summer and uh back in august so hopefully we'll get to see him and my aunt as well all right you guys well i'm going to sign off i've got to get back to my kitchen i will talk to you guys next week you guys all take care be safe have fun and uh I'll talk to you guys all later. Be happy, stay happy, everyone. This is Jeff the Happy Canadian saying, uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye for now.